Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Former Wallaby Israel Folal picked for Tonga as international exile ends Israel Folal will return to international rugby with Tonga three years after his Australia contract was terminated over a controversial social media post. The 33-year-old outside back was named in Tonga's squad on Friday for the Pacific Nations Cup tournament in July and a playoff for next year's World Cup in France. A change in world rugby's rules has allowed Tonga to select Folau alongside three former All Blacks, Charles Puto, Malachi Fikito and Augustin Pula. Folau, an evangelical Christian, had his Wallabies contract torn up in May 2019 after he posted a meme on social media which said hell awaits homosexuals and other groups. The dual code international then sued governing body Rugby Australia for unlawful termination seeking 14 million Australian dollars in damages. The case was settled out of court, with Rugby Australia and for law issuing a joint statement and apology in December 2019. A latecomer to rugby union following a successful career in rugby league and a less impressive stint in Australian rules football, Fulor made his Wallabies debut against the British and Irish Lions in 2013, only months after his first Super Rugby match for the New South Wales Arratas. He remains fourth on the Wallabies' all-time try scoring list with 37, behind David Campese, 64, Chris Latham, 40, and Adam Ashley Cooper. 39. His faith-based views and preaching on social media proved divisive, however. Fulor drew criticism for expressing his opposition to gay marriage in 2017 after the government called a national plebiscite on legalising same-sex unions in Australia. A post on social media in 2018 said homosexuals would go to hell unless they repent of their sins and turn to God, but he rejected criticism that he was bigoted or homophobic. Fulor's eventual termination in May 2019 opened a schism in the Wallabies camp, angering teammates who shared his Christian faith and Polynesian heritage. Rugby Australia's settlement with Fulor cost them a reported $4 million Australian dollars, contributing to a financial crisis that overwhelmed the governing body when the COVID-19 pandemic hit the following year. Fulor returned to rugby league with Catalan's Dragons in 2020. He tried to revive his career in the sport in Australia but was blocked before switching back to rugby union last year, taking a contract with Japan's Shining Arcs. World Rugby's decision last year to allow players to switch their international allegiance after a three-year break paved the way for Folor to represent Tonga, who are coached by the former Wallaby tout Kfu. He's going to bring a lot of experience to the table, Kfu told ABC Radio Australia. His presence is going to be one of the most exciting factors we're looking forward to. Tonga will meet Pacific Nations Cup hosts Fiji, Samoa and an Australia A team at the 2nd to 16th July tournament. A week later, Tonga faced the winner of the Asia Rugby Championship in a one-match playoff to decide who will join South Africa, Ireland, Scotland and a team from the Europe 2 zone in Pool B at the World Cup.